Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com, and today I want to show you how to use multiple USB mics to record in GarageBand. So, say you want to do a podcast, and you've got a couple of USB mics, maybe some headsets, which are fairly inexpensive, and you want to record each person on a different track. So here you see that I've got one headset, and I'm set up to go through in here uh, and be on this track called Male Voice. Now, if I wanted a second USB headset to go through on the female voice track, here's what I need to do. It's not very intuitive at all. You can't actually do anything in GarageBand. If you see, if I select this track and I go over to Input Source, all I can do is basically select either channel of the current device I'm using. Uh, if I go into GarageBand and I say Preferences and look at Audio MIDI, I can select the input device I want to use. So I can select the unknown USB audio device uh, or the system setting or microphone. But I can also select this thing called aggregate device. Let's investigate that. I'm going to switch over to an application that's in your utilities folder in Leopard and it's called Audio MIDI Setup. So this Audio MIDI Setup allows you to do a lot of things to control microphones. Uh, default input I'm going to actually go ahead here and I can change to an aggregate device and before I do that, I'm going to actually go here and say Open Aggregate Device Editor, which is in the audio menu here. It's the only thing in the audio menu. What I can do is create a device here and that's called an aggregate device. If you look, there's a whole bunch of different devices, including two unknown USB audio devices, which are two different headsets that I have. And you can see it's got listed uh, inputs and outputs. So you can see here it's got no inputs, two outputs. That's the headphones this one input, no outputs, that's the microphone. And you can see I've got two different headsets, so it's four total. I'm only interested in the microphones here, so I'm going to select that one, and it instantly moves to the top when I select it. And I'm going to select this one. So now I've got an aggregate device with two different USB audio devices, with both with inputs. I'm going to say done. Great, and now I'm going to be able to look at the properties here for this aggregate device, and I can see now it's got two different tracks. There's really nothing I can do to configure it further. But what I can do now that I've set it up is I can go back to GarageBand and I can go ahead and select the male voice here and switch the input source to Mono One aggregate device. That's the first headset. And then switch this one to Mono Two aggregate device. That's the second headset. And now if I look back and forth here, I can see it changes. And so I can see here I'm recording in this one and there's that one voice. I can also set up recording in both of them. And I can tap the microphone on the other headset and you can see it up here. So it's two different voices. One in this track, one in that track, but they're being recorded at the same time. Now if I record in GarageBand, I get each and both. Uh, a good useful hint here is instead of doing male voice and female voice, do male voice noisy, or male radio noisy, female radio noisy and that actually does more isolation. In other words, it tries to cut out some of the stuff that may come in. So you have two very separate tracks. So this is great because if uh, people are different volumes for um, each, of the, uh, each of the tracks, you can adjust that later in GarageBand, or you can uh, silence only one track or do an effect on one track. If I bring the microphone close to me for the other one, there it goes. So there you go. That's how you set it up to do more than one USB device, and I've done this with up to four USB devices. Theoretically, you can do it as many USB devices as you have and can fit in on a USB hub into your computer. This is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost.